How's it, everyone? This is Nathan Heuer, and uh, I'm bringing you today the state, my state wrestling predictions for the Fairbury Jeffs wrestling team. Um, I've been covering them all year. I've um, wrestling. I background myself. I've wrestled uh, 14 years and uh, um, through high school, and I've uh, been around the sport. Covered the area this winter, and, and uh, had the pleasure of covering a really good Jeffs team this year. And um, I guess. Uh, Without further ado, I guess we can jump right into the prediction that I got. Um, I got seven. I got seven Fairbury wrestlers qualified for the state tournament, um, and uh, that's that's based on rankings. That's based on what I've seen in person. That's based on records, and um, and uh, so I've added all in research of head-up matchups, obviously. So Fairbury's in the in the District B3 tournament, and. They got, uh, it, it's a tough uh, district. You got five number one ranked wrestlers in the district. And, um, and uh, Fairbury is, uh, uh, according to some projections around the state, we're projected to get six in, but I, uh, I am project, projecting that we'll get seven wrestlers in. And um, I guess start, you got the foundation of your team all year. You got 132 pounder, Austin Barnes. You got 138, uh, Logan Slater. And you got uh, 170 pounder Ace York, 195 pounder Zach Rykowski, and uh, those are your four wrestlers that I have that, that get in no, no matter how things shake out. They've been the foundation of this team all year. Slater placed six last year, the only returning state placer. Austin, he, him, and Zach, they made it down to state last year, got that experience and they've been having tremendous seasons this year. And um, I guess uh, now, I don't have anybody winning it per se, but um, I, I uh, feel free, it proved me wrong for very wrestlers. Um, I, I projected seven, and I, and I think there certainly could be more. That's just a number, what I've observed, and I looked at who's in what weight for this district. Um, I got uh, Logan Slater, he, he's gonna, I got taken second as well. Um, Ace, I got taken second, and, and right, Rykowski taken second. Now, any of those could go the other way as well. Um, Austin, um, you had any Russell that, that believes to take a third. Um, he lost to Juan Vergara of Wayne um, in, in a close bout earlier in the year. And, uh, and, and then number three ranked Zach Wharton of Blair is at the top of that ranked class and um, he, he could take down him as well but I, I think he gets the best of one the second time around finds himself in the finals and I think um, that, that'll that bode well for Austin to get a favorable um, seed to get uh, find his way into the semifinals at the state tournament. Um, Logan, he, I, I would give him the best shot to win it out of the team um, not only because of his state placing last year and the experience he has but I, I think the weight class bodes well for him. Um, the only ranked uh, kid you got in the weight class is, is Ray Loftus of Blair, and um, that uh, Loftus is 37-3 uh, and 3 this year, but last year he's at 125 state tournament, went 0-2, so uh, they, he's yet to cross paths with Slater this year so far. That could be a heck of a final. Be on, be on the lookout for that one as if Logan wins that district uh, here, he, he sets up well for him to, uh, and, you know, make the semifinals as well at the state tournament. Ace, uh, toughest weight class, he got three ranked kids at his weight. I mean, he's had a heck of a year. I um, not many probably predicted him to do as well as he did, but he's having a phenomenal year. He's battling, he's wrestled a lot of good kids, really close matches. Um, the, the interesting um, matchup in this weight, in my mind, is, is Wahoo's Tucker Hancock. They split matches earlier in the year in December. Hancock got the best of York, uh, 11 to seven, and then in, in January here, the 13th, I believe, that that York and him. So that, that's going to be a, probably a semifinal matchup, two, three seed, and, and who's going to be able to make the final against third ranked Dalton Lewis of Blair. And that, that York hasn't seen, you know, we have York, um, Fairbury hasn't seen Blair. So um, there's going to be a lot of intriguing matchups there, and York uh, will um, possibly be 
uh, the third kid that could reach a final against the Blair kid, uh, going from Barnes, Slater, York, and then go to Zach Rykowski. He, uh, him and, and number one ranked Sam Coulterman of Oahu are the only kids in the weight, uh, and as far as uh, my research goes, I could be wrong, that have winning records, and uh, they met each other twice in the year. Coulterman pinned him both times, I think. Rykowski could put up a better matchup. I, I would suspect he got some down. They have him scouted. They've been prepping. Um, and, and I would imagine Rykowski, you know, third time out. Every time you face an opponent, you, your odds of beating them are greater that next time. And I think uh, that you know, Rykowski could, you know, give him a little bit of better scrap. But second place is where he could likely finish uh, as far as numbers and what, what things look on paper go. Now, our other three wrestlers that I got making it in. Uh, and surprise wrestler of the year, Seth Fermanick. Uh, really uh, a big surprise. Uh, fell into what would have likely been Jacob Johnson's spot, and he did phenomenal. Uh, really a dark horse all year. Uh, and he wrestled, doesn't have him getting in, but I got him taking second. And he, he uh, Wahoo's Cole Bordowski, who they have is a kid who would take second in the weight. I mean, uh, you, you had Fermanick that, that uh, he defeated him once, and um, and I think that's a matchup you got to look for. And if he can do that, I, I think he could take second as well, along with the other first four I stated. And I think he's going to be a real big surprise. And I think he could, and I think he could get Fairbury into the even top ten at state tournament um, with a, with a solid performance. Lacks a little bit of experience, but um, certainly is a kid that. Garfield I've talked with about that he really likes the development of him and how far he's come. And then you got the two two heavy guys. We got John Kerwood at 220s, Trent Grizzle at heavyweights. I got them both sneaking in on um, fourth place. I think um, Kerwood, his weight bodes well for him. Um, he could maybe even take third. I mean, it, it's a weight class up for grabs. And Trent, Trent, uh, just obviously we know he's a phenomenal football player, but first year out. He's gonna give uh, that weight class. He, I mean, he's he's faced a lot of tough kids this year. Um, Stavarski of, of York, top ranked. He, he's faced a lot of ranked kids. Got some good experience, but he's never backs down in those type of matches. I think Trent is, is gonna be a person that maybe maybe could surprise somebody at state because of his athleticism and his strength. You know, his experience still coming around, but he's a kid that certainly uh, knows how to perform big time moments. So that's my seven wrestlers that, that we'll be getting in. And wrestlers on the outside looking in that, you know, I'm not saying are out, but they have some tough weight classes. Carson York, 120. He's been eight, a phenomenal turnaround this year from from last year. We won a few matches and now he has a winning record this year and he's done great things. And uh, he just has a tremendously tough weight class. Uh, you got, you got four guys that are over 25 wins and, and a ranked kid uh, from Blair. And, and that's tough um, tough to do, but I'm not saying he can't get in. I, I think he has a shot. Quentin Gwynn at 126, real surprise. He, he's got over a 500 record. And, and he has a weight class with five kids over 30 wins. So that's going to be uh, it's gonna be a great experience nonetheless for him. And but, but he hasn't been afraid of backing down from ranked competition from what I've seen this year covered. And Marshall York, of course, a 160, another kid with tough weight class. But he's shown some really good things this year, too. He's been able to scrap with some tough kids. And, and he's in a weight class that has um, number one ranked Red Trail, Nebraska City. And you have three kids over 30 wins, another kid over 20 wins. So, I mean, he's 21, 26 himself. But this is going to be a tough weight class. Fairbury wrestled a tough schedule, so they're, maybe the records aren't um, the prettiest due to that. But I think they're battle tested, and they will be battle tested heading into this. And uh, to wrap it up here, uh, after going through that all, is that uh, the team and how I think things will shake out for the teams. And uh, Blair, they're they're a tough uh, they're, they're a tough team, and they, and they're ranked I believe number four in B and. That they're they're projected 11 people to get to the state tournament out of 14, so <clears throat> they could even be contenders down at state. Um, Wahoo, who's who's Fairbury seen twice this year, um, they, they're they they're projected to get eight wrestlers in, um, and I, I think that's pretty accurate. They're, they're a tough team, and then um, you, you're going to have a battle for third between Nebraska City. Norris, Wayne, and Fairbury. Um, I got Fairbury getting seven in, 
and in Nebraska City, Norris and Wayne each with five. So um, it, it, it could go either way with any of those. You know, swing matches are going to be very important. Weights, um, you know, uh, Seth Permanent, that's going to be very important for him to get. And then to get Kerwood and Grizzle in there too um, to the state tournament, that would be huge for them. And, and, but the foundation of the team, obviously, that they're, they're going to need to rely on in Austin, Logan, Ace, and Zach. They need those big guys to step up, reach the finals, you punch their tickets to the state tournament. This, this Fairbury team's looking very well good heading into this but I got them taking I got them taking third in this district and, and placing themselves with seven seven wrestlers down at the state tournament and, and that should bode well for them also I like to say I, I'm no expert um, I, uh, I mean I've been around wrestling my whole life I've covered the team so you know Fairbury wrestlers if I left you out I I, uh, I would be thoroughly impressed I, I would be I, I I challenge you to, to prove me wrong because I think um, you know that uh, it's a tremendous opportunity to you know qualify for the state tournament, go down there. There's nothing like the state tournament. I <clears throat> I made it three times myself as a high school wrestler. I know, and I uh, you know that state experience is one to be at, and um, uh, hopefully everything all goes well for you guys. But I got seven going to the state tournament, and. Uh, that's my predictions for the week, and be on the lookout next week. I got uh, state wrestling preview coming up for you next week on Fairberry TV.